so what they can do knee level. But as y'all can see uh, from yourself, it's not exactly working. Even though it's just subconsciously, it's just digging, but it's actually playing a really mind game with us. Currently it's actually 3.14. Uh, I've been uh, down at the TCP actually planning the ops orders and the EOP and all of that. But right now when I head back, I'm actually gonna help out with uh, the shell scrape and a bit more of the planning and feeling slightly a bit tired. Lack of rest, uh, a heat rash and everything is just starting to act up. The instruction is ASAP get it done before first light. Yeah, get it done. First light, height. Me, right? No, try to get it done by chest. What? Yeah. Apparently, in a few hours' time, we're supposed to be here. Ah. Apparently, I'm here. Ah. So, from here to here, ah, need miracle. Ah. I haven't really slept, tired from digging, all the abrasions are killing me. There's still a lot of things that need to be needs to be done. So it's quite tiring here, yeah. so I'll see. Digging and digging and digging. That's probably the best digging experience and until now we haven't dig finished. For now uh, it's 9.30 so we have one and a half hour left to just fill our sandbag. Okay we just gotta keep uh, fill about 40 to 50 sandbags which we're at five now uh, but we've got an hour and a half so working on it. I don't know how I gotta go through this man. Apparently I'm Halfway, seeing heaven or oh, sleeping on earth. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, you all come. I'll show you the deployment of Kongwai. In between them, one Kongwai. Stretch out. This time, I still have to do quite a number of stuff actually. Priority is to finish up all the trenches and fill up all the sandbags to form our FOPK. Uh, the other one is we have to lay out our trip flares and clay moss layer on as well as finish up the corn wire on top of which I have an AOP to present later on Rest uh, it Sounds familiar but no, no, no rest The only rest I got was probably walking around and sitting down doing the AOP When I came up here and started digging I probably took like 30 seconds off, 1 minute off but uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 I, you know, maybe, maybe a 7 maybe a 7, 8 I don't know, how about that? How tired I am, I will give myself and eight, probably about six to seven. I think it's above 10 already. We can go up to 15 or even 20. We've been deployed as a race security. Just like how uh, it's gonna work in the real world, we, as long as we're defending something, we just gotta wait for the enemy to, to come along and uh, not be taken by surprise when they actually are here. Oh, I feel horrible. Uh. Like, I have a quite a serious headache now, and then I feel cramped all over whenever I stop. I feel cramped in my fingers, my thighs, everywhere. I've been drinking quite a lot, uh. going to the train a lot as well. Yes, so. I don't know. I don't know what happened here. I want to go home. <laughs>
Oh many enemy low! The enemy low! MJ MJ! Contero Bae! Chiku Chiku! What a status! Now I'm going to do a proper re uh, I think the mission went pretty alright. Yeah. We didn't expect to have such a big force continuously attacking us uh, and it's my first experience for that uh, as well as being a PC. Uh. They actually attacked at the place where we postulated them to come from and I think that was very good on uh, Sean's part. Determining where the enemy will be attacking from as the first point which is very important and uh, yeah, we, we had a good fight today. But at least now you know the importance of the principles of defense. Yes, sir. Mutually supporting fire, yes, sir. the defense in them, yes, setting up obstacles to break their momentum, your location for the commander, all this is very important. I think it's the first time you're doing this, huh? it's good. It's good. I think I think he did a really good job. Everyone was so tired and just going into like sleepy mode where everyone's dozing off. But he still managed to keep um, his plan going. And at the same time, even though he started doing his individual shell script and fire trench late, but he managed to finish it faster than most of us. So it just shows that um, if he put his mind to actually achieve his goal of doing his job well, he actually um, exceeded all expectations. So I think he did an awesome job. Now that it's all over, I feel pretty contented that, um, you know, I, I managed to make, make it through. Uh. When I was actually digging, a lot of things were running through my mind. Also. I was like, why are you digging this? You know, it doesn't make sense to you. After a while, you're going to close it in like maybe in one hour time, you do like, you know, and then go home. And then what was the purpose? But I think every everything has a reason. Uh. At the end of the day, we realised that uh, the digging is all for a purpose and each single inch of the fire trench or, or, or shell scrape or, or even GPMG trench has its own purpose and we kind of realise that we have to do it properly otherwise it will defeat the purpose, it will just be a hole in the ground. I believe the reason was, you know, just to make someone stronger or a, a skill, you know, how to dig a fire trench. Some way through this actually halfway I felt that you know, this is going to last forever, it's going to take forever to do because I have so many concurrent things to do and I guess the rest of our section will not be able to make it. Uh. But then again, here we are, uh, we finished it and um, more or less, I would say that uh, the first phase or so-called uh, for defence has been over for Scorpion King.